In the following demonstrations, we will look at the fluid and solid parts of a tractor rear axle. But first, we will just look at one part and the effects of some of the new virtual topology options. The geometry has many fine features in comparison to the desired mesh size. There are multiple ways to defeature the geometry. One of them is through virtual topologies. Virtual topologies give a user control over what features to capture and what features to ignore. The first step is often to run automatic virtual topologies to get an initial simplification, and to later adjust the topology manually through deleting or creating other virtual topologies. An area of improvement in 16.0 is more direct control on the properties in the automatic virtual topology creation. On some models, the auto VT can be too aggressive in simplifying the topology which can lead to meshing problems if the faces have too much curvature. So let's take a look at the new options in 16. You can see in this project I have duplicated the model into four systems to show the following. The original geometry, the results from AutoVT with low option, note this option was in older versions, the results from the new AutoVT with the default custom option, and the results with the new AutoVT using the repair options. In the original geometry, you can see a lot of fine features. In the AutoVT low model, you can see the software has removed many of the small features allowing for a coarser mesh, but there is not much control over the grouping of faces. In the AutoVT custom model, you can see the software has again removed many of the small features allowing for a coarser mesh. The defaults provide a decent starting point, and depending on the model and the user needs, a user could increase or decrease specific settings to help increase or decrease the clustering of faces. In the AutoVT repair model, you can see that only smaller geometry, that is small edges, small faces, and slivers, are affected. This leads to fewer virtual faces, but often these are the only faces a user may want to VT, as these are the faces with the most effect on the total element count. You can see that the different approaches had different benefits. As mentioned, these tools are often model specific, so these new options provide the user with a great deal of flexibility.